marriage joins two people who trust in the love that they have found together. It is a partnership in which each can grow and be their true selves, whilst also becoming part of the other. On behalf of Steve and Lois, I'd like to welcome you all to Eastwood Park. I'd like to begin by congratulating the groom on his choice of best man. I've known Steve for around 25 years now and we've gone through many highs and lows. I know that we're both there for each other in times of need, like when he needs a best man. <laughs> it has been about 25 years. It's been a lot that we've been through, ups and downs, thick and thin. Thank you for everything you've done for us and supported us and supported me and been there every time we need you. So just simply, mate, thank you very much. I just want to say thank you to the ring bearer, Alfie, my son. Thank you for not losing the rings as well. <laughs> Hey, happy wedding day to us. Who would have thought to, hey, all those years ago after a night playing pub golf that we would spend the next decade of our lives together. It's been a roller coaster, but we've always come out stronger. Remember those messages where you said you'd imagine the day I'd be walking down the aisle towards you? Well, we've made it. The most important walk in my life is today and I can't wait to be your wife. See you soon, Smelly. Love you. <sighs> Eva and Amber, so I just want to say thank you very much for everything you've done today. You both look absolutely fabulous and you're both absolutely gorgeous. I just want to say thank you to Jess and to Kathy for being the bridesmaids. Thank you for everything you've done for helping with the wedding. Um, so if we could just have a big thank you for the two bridesmaids. Thank you. Thank you to Dean, the usher. Thank you for directing the guests and helping out with the wedding. Um, and also thank you for just being a big, fantastic brother to Lois as well. And also now my brother-in-law. Thank you, Dean. Alas. Yes, alas. <laughs> Please be upstanding for the bridal party.
Tony and Howard have escorted Lois here today, I will now ask them this significant question. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? We do. We do. Thank you very much. We'd like to take your seats, gentlemen. Where Steve and Lois will exchange their marriage promises and vows with each other to contract their marriage. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Stephen Paul Jones, do take thee, Lois Stallworthy, to be my lawful wedded wife. I promise to love, respect and cherish you for the rest of our lives together. call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Lois Stallworthy, do take thee, Stephen Paul Jones, to be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to love, respect and cherish you for the rest of our lives together. Will the ring bearer Alfie please step forward with the rings? I'm just going to say a little bit about the rings before they're given. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It has no beginning and no end. It symbolizes unending and everlasting love and is an outward sign of the lifelong promise that you will now make to each other. Okay, thank you. Right, if you'd like to turn the face to each other and if you'd like to take Lois's ring and place it on the third finger of her left hand. Give it a wiggle. <laughs> There we go. And hold her hand as you say these words to her. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. Well done. Lois, can you please take Steve's ring? And place it on the third finger of his left hand. And hold his hand as you say these words to him. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. Very much, Alfie. Can you take your seat? It is my pleasure and my privilege to declare that you are now husband and wife, and Steve, you may kiss your bride. amazing as i already said you both look like movie stars today one piece of advice that i will give you mate is that keep hold of lois with both hands you're definitely punching above your weight <laughs> um now i'm sure this is the part where i need to tell a funny story about steve and embarrass him tell you about when he took a course of thrush medicine um and the tablet being so big that he had to break it up and eat it um, in separate chunks, <laughs> only later to find out that it was a pessary. <laughs> um, now, if you got, I didn't know what this was when he told me after he was calling 111. So, ask your wives if you want to know what a pessary is, because I didn't know at the time. It makes it so much more, more humorous. 
Um, or, <laughs> sorry, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> um, the wedding has been around 10 years in the making and I've never met a couple so well suited to each other. You bring each other out of your shells and you enhance each other's lives. I love you both dearly and yeah, it does fill my heart to see you both so happy. Um, and on this note, would everyone please join me in raising a glass um, to a lifetime of happiness fueled by espresso martinis and gin. <laughs> <laughs> to Lois and Steve. Thank you. I've been quite nervous, as you can probably tell, I'm shaking at the moment. I've been nervous throughout the day. But I've been so nervous that this is the third time today that I've stood up from a warm seat with sheets of paper in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just leave you all with that for a minute. I've had to write this down because I know if I try and say it from the heart, I'll just warble and I'll probably falter. So I'm going to read this out because it's, I've had to write it because I won't get through it otherwise. But genuinely, this woman has been my rock for the best part of a decade or so. She's given me the courage and confidence to do everything I'd never have done otherwise. been there for me. She's caring, considerate, funny, feisty, annoying, <laughs> a little bit crazy and just a genuine down-to-earth human being. She's taken on my kids and she loves them just like they were her own. She's everything I could want and more plus she's not bad to look at either. <laughs> so if you could all stand up please and just toast to the bride. Let's all get drunk. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.